Good day everybody, my name is Earl and today I'm very excited to show you an up and coming feature, Cashbook Processing. Now please note in the final release of this feature, Cashbook will re be renamed to Processing. Now something that a lot of people don't know is that we actually have a monthly trial balance sitting in Draftworks. Okay. Cashbook will process now to these monthly trial balance entries. Something please to note, very important, if you are already importing your monthly, say from Pastel or QuickBooks, any entries that you do do in Cashbook for particular months that you have already imported will be overwritten. Now it's probably not ever going to happen that you're going to be importing from an external source and processing to it. However, if it does, please make sure that those months that you have imported already, you're not going to be processing too. So if you have imported six months from Pastel, you will start processing from month seven in Draftworks. Okay, just something we want to make you aware of. However, the situation should hardly ever arise. Let's get on with Cashbook. Now, to run Cashbook, I simply click Cashbook, and you will now see something that's quite similar to our journal entry screen. On the left hand side we will be selecting however the bank account that we will be balancing to and if applicable your VAT or if you are an international user your GST account. So let's have a look. How do I select my bank account? Well very simply you can see the double arrows that you used to. This will open up my select account uh, okay, and there's something that we're busy with, the state agents methodology, that's also up and coming. Um, we will hopefully have that ready by the end of the year or beginning next year. Okay, now in my bank account, I can simply select my bank. And for that, we're going to select my SARS account, South African Revenue Service. For any international users out there, this would be your typical receiver of revenue account. So I've selected my bank account that we'll be auto-balancing to and my VAT account that we'll also be balancing to if that is applicable. Once this entry is in, all I have to do is hit enter. Okay, now what does this actually allow me to do on the left hand side? Why have we left the left hand side open? Well, because we can select multiple bank accounts and process against multiple items. So if I have a bank account to or a credit card that I'd like to process to, this will allow me to do simply that. Okay. Now, on my bank account, once selected, I can start to put in my transaction date. So, let's for example say the 1st of February 2015. I'm doing a 2015 year end just as an example. Once I put in the date, I'll move across. Again, I can bring up my trial balance and select where I'd like to process against. Let's for example say we are processing sale. I can select sales. And then, of course, it's a credit from my bank statement, so I will be putting in my credit amount. Okay. Now, the nice thing that we've done now is that we've put that VAT will be recognized automatically. Okay. So when I've captured 114, it's already done the excluding and the VAT amount. I don't have to go further in the options. I can just hit enter. And there we go. I've added it. Let's do another one. But let's do a mix where now, for instance, we're going to let's say purchases. I think that's account 110. Now, notice also if you do know the account number, you can just type it in or you can use the drop down to find the account. Okay, tab across again. Let's say, for instance, we bought purchases of 114, however, this was purchased from a non-VAT vendor. All I have to do is I have to hit tab and that's the way we navigate across just with tab and you'll see it's now auto deselected the VAT account and I can just hit enter. So now we know how we can quickly process with VAT by not tabbing across to the VAT applicable column or if we do click tab across it will automatically deselect it. So let's do one last entry and I'm going to process against motor vehicles and let's say we bought um, motor vehicles with 20,000 Rand and if I hit enter now it will automatically and you can see it in the columns apply that however if I tab across it will say okay we've dropped the VAT applicable 
However, if in this case it was, and I have made a mistake by tabbing across, I can just hit my space bar, and it will automatically allocate that. And let's hit enter again. So I've added in my entries, and we should see a net movement of 20,000 happening against my, my balance of my uh, bank account. And also something very nice to notice here, we'll actually keep track of your final trial balance value for your bank. So every single entry I process, I can just check that against the balance on my bank statement and ensure that I have captured everything um, up to date. So you're just double checking while you're going that everything is in balance. Now if I jump back to my working trial balance, we'll see here are my entries that have been processed and of course these are showing underneath my monthlies. There we go, month 12. However, transactions is a total of month 1 to 12. I can quickly see my sales, my purchases. So sales had VAT applicable. Purchases didn't have VAT applicable. That's why it's 114. The balancing has gone to SARS. And there's my 20,000 Rand movement in bank. So let's have a quick look back at cash book. 20,000. There's my 11,543 Rand going to my VAT account. Okay. Now, we are going to be bringing out some more little options for the cash book, uh, a VAT report, very basic VAT report, and we are looking at later bringing in a bank manager. However, this is going to be next year. We are concentrating on our financials. Plus, also something that you will see that's coming out with our next update is the RTR 14, and of course, the lovely features such as resync, the cover page, and much, much, much more. If you have any questions, Please don't hesitate to email us at support at dataprime.co.za or myself personally, earl at dataprime.co.za. We've had some fantastic feedback on upcoming features, so we're looking very much forward to rolling it out. Thank you very much for your support during the 2014 year. We look forward to being of service to all our clients in 2015. And remember, DraftWorks is built around you. So please let us know what you're looking for, what you think will help improve your firm's performance as well as quality. Uh, we of course always strive for both from our side, but every single company is different, every single firm has a different focus, so let us know how we can assist you. Thank you very much, have a lovely rest of your day.